All right, Mina Haragai, two under 69. Mina, can you talk us through your round today? Um, today was fun, but stressful for sure. A little more stressful today for sure, but, um, and things got a little shaky there, but I was really happy with the way I hung in there and made some good birdies coming in. Yeah, did the course play differently for you today than yesterday? It did. Um, since it was the morning, um, fairways were a little softer, greens were a little softer, so my drives weren't going as far. Um, and I had a little longer clubs in, but my the golf ball was able to hold better too, so it was, it was all right out there. Over here on your left. You've been playing championship golf on a high level for 20 years, for a long time. How'd that prepare you for the patience that you need to have on this course? Um, yeah, I think it's just um, it's just experience. Um, every time that I'm I'm doing well in a tournament, especially in a major championship, I just draw on from um, each experience. And today, even when things weren't going great, I hit some not great shots. And um, but I was really able to keep my um, keep myself calm and um, just try to be really level headed out there. And I was doing a lot better with it. Now over to your right, uh, Mini. It wasn't that long ago that you were having kind of a crisis of confidence. We got through the pandemic. You go out to Arizona. You win all those cactus events. And you've been on an upward trajectory ever since. How are you different now than you were during that time? Uh, I think I'm just a completely different person and golfer in general. Um, I'm hitting a lot more greens now. I've always generally been a pretty good um, driver of the golf ball, but it's my irons that have really um, taken care of where I'm going with my game and especially actually putting too. I've been making a lot more putts. I'm way more confident with it. So, um, and I think just as a person, I'm much more mature. It took me a little, a little bit, um, but I feel like um, I'm a lot more mature than I was in my twenties. And how do you, what do you think you can attribute that to? Is it just the number of birthdays or was there some <laughs> process that you went through? Um, I think it's just the people you surround, um, I surrounded myself with. Um, I went back to my old swing coach that knows me best. Um, I met my fiance, Travis. He has a, he has a great killer athlete mentality. He kind of, um, brought me back to how I was, um, in my amateur golf days, that, that more of that kind of mentality. And, um, just, just surrounding myself with people that are really good for me. And for those who may not know you, who is Travis? And can you... uh, tra um, Travis Kreider, he's my uh, fiance and caddy as well. He's been caddying for me the last um, over four years now. Uh, back to Ron. Have you let yourself think about how cool it'll be to go back to the Monterey Peninsula and Pebble Beach next year? And can you recommend any good sushi restaurants <laughs> in the area? <laughs> um, I, I think about it all the time. Um, returning to Pebble Beach for the uh, Women's US Open. Uh, that's that's my dream tournament for sure, and I'm so proud to be from there. Um, and you know, I think there's a pretty good sushi <laughs> restaurant there. Um, <laughs> my parents own a own and operate a Japanese restaurant. My um, my dad is the sushi chef, and my mom is the kitchen chef. So hopefully, my friends will go there when we play there next year. Thank you. And a far right. Uh, Mina, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you've ever led a tournament, um, a round of a tournament. Um, coming in, I might be wrong on that, but um, now you may have a chance to be leading two rounds at the biggest stage in, you know, in the world. Um, first of all, what does that feel like? And secondly, is that also added pressure? Um, last year at the AIG um, at Carnoustie, I was tied for the league going into Saturday, um, and that that definitely was different then. And I think I, I'm going to draw from that experience. Um, I feel a little better <laughs> um, today, tomorrow. Um, I feel like I have more, the better tools to navigate, you know, these, these new, new experiences. So, yeah, I think just trying to be calm, just go about my day. Um, it's a tough course. It's a U.S. Open. You're going to get good breaks. You're going to get bad breaks. So just trying to be, I guess, just happy overall. Beth Ann? Mina, can you give us an example in your 20s where you weren't as mature? <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> um, well, I would say if things weren't going my way on the golf course or say, you know, this, like today, if, if I hit a bad shot or I make a bogey, even though I'm still doing just fine, I, I probably wouldn't have handled it very well. I probably would have gotten really upset or um, it probably would have affected me the next one, two, th even three holes. So I think mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing a lot better with that. Have you worked with a mental coach or is that Travis? 
<laughs> I, I have a mental coach as well. Um, her name is Dawn Woodard. She's a great amateur player, oh, too. Oh, Dawn. Yes, yeah, we yeah. know Dawn. Yeah, <laughs> she's great. She's definitely helped me a lot, too, and Travis helps me a lot. So who is your team, if you could just tell us your the rest of your team? Yeah, uh, my, my swing coach is Jeff Fisher. Um, he's um, out in Arizona, so I see him all the time, and I even practice at his golf course um, when I'm home just to get away from things. Um, my agent, Alex Guerrero, he's awesome. And John Van Dyke, he's um, co-agent. Travis Kreider is my uh, caddy and fiance. He jockeys me around the golf course. <laughs> um, if, I'm, if I'm blanking. Oh, Don Woodard, my, um, my mental coach. She's with, um, her thing is called Judgment Matters. And um, yeah, that's the core of my team. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mina. Thank you.